Hi guys, welcome back to another very important video on React and Next.js 14. I'm going to be talking about debugging. I've already created videos on how we can configure breakpoints and use it to debug our React or Next.js application. In this video, I'm going to be showing you an awesome library that helps us debug the hooks, whether it's built in hooks or the custom hooks. Let's say that we have hooks that have a dependency array and we need to configure and figure out that which value from the dependency array got changed what was the old value what was the new value and it's very hard to analyze and time taking to debug these kinds of things using console log statements or the breakpoints so the library i'm going to be using is this one use what changed it is an awesome library i'm going to be showing you how we can configure it install it and use it in multiple react hooks so let's go ahead i've already created a new next.js project next.js 14 and currently it is showing nothing because I've not added anything. So first of all, I'm going to be showing you an example to debug a use effect hook. So I will be creating a new component. So let's create a new folder first of all. And inside it, I'm going to be creating a new component. So let's say use effect hook dot TSX. All right. So I'm going to be creating this one. And uh, first of all, I will be importing that hook so use effect and also i will be needing use state hook and in next yes as you already know i've already created almost 50 videos on my channel on next js if you want to learn next js you can check out my channel and you can find videos on pretty much every topic on next js 14 and next js 13. so here i will be giving it use client because i'm using hooks without converting use client it will throw an error that you cannot use hooks in the server company components in Next.js. So first of all, I will be creating couple of variables using use state hook. So first of all, this is going to be the count. Let's add the set count here. Use state and initial value is going to be zero. Let's add another variable. Let's say the name set name use state and let's give my name to it. After that, I'm going to be using use effect hook and uh, this is going to have this kind of syntax. Let's give it the count and the name inside the dependency array. Okay. And inside this use effect, I'm going to be adding effect triggered by changes in count or name. So first of all, inside this div, let's add H1 and uh, hello and i'm gonna be adding and printing the value of this name and after that i will be creating an import this is going to change the value of this name so this is going to have this tailwind css styles um, and then this value and on change is going to take this particular function so let me add this function above this return statement and below this, I'm going to be adding an other H1 and this is going to be the count. And let's print the value of this count. Let's give some Tailwind CSS classes to it by adding the margin top to six. Okay. So below H1, I will be creating another button. Let's give it a class. Background is going to be the black. Text is going to be white margin top two and the padding two okay so inside this button let's give it an increment and then i'm gonna be adding an on click event to it so this is going to be set count count plus one all right so let's see what we have here if i refresh actually i need to add this component in my page dot tsx so here inside this main i will be first adding this uh, h1 and let's give it use effect hook to see that we are actually testing the use effect hook so let's give it text large font bold and below this i will be adding this particular component so let me change it with the capital u here and also here okay and here i will be adding use effect hook this will be automatically imported and like this now if i go 
So this is the UI it has printed. Now if I change the value like this, you can see that it has printed this message. And if I click on the increment, it's again going to print the same message. We can print the values of it by adding it over here, but it's not convenient when we have a lot of uh, variables over here. And uh, currently these are the primitive types. We can have the arrays, we can have objects, we can have a lot of other values over here. So now it's time to install that particular package and show you that what is the benefit of that? How convenient is that to debug this particular hook and inside this terminal i'm going to be installing npm install and uh, let me open up this particular package and i'm going to be actually i need to copy this thing okay make sure you install it in dev dependency because we only want it while we are developing all right so this is going to get installed i'm going to be importing it at the top so let's import that so use what changed from at this particular package. Okay. Now below this particular variables, actually above use effect hook, I will be using this hook use what changed and inside it, I need to add the dependency variables. So we have two dependency variables like this. And then uh, after this, I can have the name of those columns which needs to be added all right so now let's save this file and i'm going to run my project npm run dev now in the browser if i refresh this page it's going to show up something we, you can see that it's showing it in the form of table it's showing two variables which are the dependency variables added over here which are equal to the dependency variable of the use effect hook and here it's showing the old value, new value, old value, new value. Now, if I try to change the value over here, you can see that every time the dependencies gets changed and use effect hook is going to get triggered, it's showing what was the old value and what is the new value and which variable got changed in the dependency array. And the name variable got changed, count did not got changed. If I click on the increment now, you can see that here now it's showing that the name did not got changed and uh, this is the new value this is the old value for the count variable if i keep on clicking on it uh, you can see that it's showing old and new value so it is really beneficial whenever i try to debug these particular hooks whether it's use effect use memo use callback custom hooks this library really helps me to debug what are the values coming in and uh, how we can fix that particular issue so let me quickly show you that this particular library can be used with all other react hooks in Next.js 14 as well as well as the custom hooks. So quickly, I'm going to be creating couple of more files. So first of all, I will be creating this one callback hook.tsx. Let me create that RFCE callback hook. So inside it, first of all, I will be importing it at the top use client because we are using hooks and this is what i have imported and then i'm going to add one variable using use state and then i will be creating another function using use callback as you already know that this particular hook is used to remember a particular value within the function so i'm going to be calling this function from within this return statement below all right so this is going to have this number title this is going to call this particular function calling this increment and just like this one i'm just going to copy this use what changed and i'm going to paste it over here and here i will be adding a number let me remove this let me add the title to this table all right so this is something which i need to add over here let me add it like this and let me add one margin at the top margin four let's say and use callback hook and here i need to import that particular hook callback hook all right so let me add this this one has been added all right so here you can see that this has been added and uh, here 
uh it's showing this particular number and it's also showing this particular object as well with new value and the old value if i click on the increment you can see that it's showing this particular number old value new value and it means that we can use this library in this hook as well we can use it in use memo hook with the complex calculation as well so let me quickly show you by creating that so i'm going to add memo hook dot tsx so inside it let me add this one okay and at the top just like the other files i will be adding these particular import statements and i will be adding this particular state variable and in order to use use memo we need to have complex calculation as you know that this particular hook is used to improve the performance of our app okay and uh, it's only going to trigger this particular logic when the value gets changed inside the input value the different value comes in this particular dependency value now inside this particular div it's going to have a button and actually the input so this is going to be of type number and this on change is going to change the value of this state variable and when this value is going to get changed this dependency value is going to get updated and this function is going to get called okay so here i'm going to come here and i'm going to copy this particular thing and uh, let's add use memo here so that we know the difference and here i'm going to add memo hook it's going to get imported now in the ui let me refresh this page uh, you can see that we can click on it and showing the result but inside this console log actually i think i have not added this thing use what changed so let me add that above this particular function with the same value of the dependency array okay now let's refresh and here you can see that input value old value and the new value let me change it and here you can see that old value new value object with the values of new value and the old value so the reason i have shown it in three different examples because i wanted to show you we can use this particular library in all the hooks provided by react whether it's next js 14 or react and also if you have built the custom hook then even in that particular hook we can use this particular library so i hope that you have got an idea how we can use it configure it install it in our project whenever you come across any problem variable change uh, or you want to debug your code within any kind of hooks you can use this library anywhere in any component thank you so much for watching guys see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe my channel